Hey, it's Chapo. Welcome uh, to Brickzar. This is your home for vintage Lego. We're going to be looking at a new Lego set, and it's one that I really like it, but it's it's just way overpriced uh, for what it is. But this is, is this Lego Ideas? Uh, yeah, it's Lego Ideas, the evolution of STEM. What's the set number? 21355. It is a compilation of a lot of things that I like and I collect uh, whether it be Lego related or just things that I'm interested in. Uh, mainly because uh, science of the uh, STEM. <laughs> also technology, engineering, and math. So it's, that's what STEM is, right? <clears throat> so it's got these things here in this uh, very uh, nicely designed set that is like $90 or something. It's just like, it's way over, way overpriced uh, for what it is. But anyway, before I get to that, I just want to mention that the Marvelous product that I mentioned in a recent video, uh, they are alive with their Kickstarter. So hopefully I can find the time to try this Marvelous out. Uh, it's a combination of space, space, and time, uh, but they were kind enough to send me a lot of the different kits that are offered on their Kickstarter. We we showed that in the unboxing. So I'll get around hopefully to doing that, but if you're interested in that marble run technology, uh, the the, uh, the kits they have that interface with an app so you can uh, make your own Rube Goldberg or marble run, uh, com and it's compatible, uh, some of the components are compatible with uh, Lego products. Uh, be sure to check them out on their uh, Kickstarter. I'll put a link to that in the description below. I uh, just wanted to mention that. Uh, I did the video, I, I actually uh, featured it on Tipper Truck and my other, my original channel, Jabbo, as well. Tipper Truck TV. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, the, the Kickstarter's live. I just wanted to mention that because the time that they sent it was before the Kickstarter actually started. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this uh, set. And I'm looking at it as if I was the uh, uh, in, in, in the uh, photo shoot for it. I'm behind it, which is not very interesting, uh, seeing it from behind. So there's so much in this little set. Uh, so I'm going to uh, bring the the set closer as we talk about it. So the first thing I'd like to mention is it has hidden things in the pages of the book. I pull this up. There's a little. Um, Rainbow of Colors. This is a color prism, which has to do with, uh, uh, it, it ties in with a lot of things. It's uh, Isaac Newton, you know, he, he did this thing on optics, so that it ties in with that. But it, I don't know why they hid it, they hid it in here. And then on this side, there is something else. There is uh, Morse code, uh, which ties in with uh, craft work and um, somehow. And then they make a song about Morse code. I can't. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, there's that. But they hit them away. Uh, so it's a lot to unpack in this set. So let's start at the top. So first of all, there is a space shuttle that's hanging from this thing here. And it is in... Uh, it's about to crash at that angle. I don't think... It, if it's going into that descent, that's just, uh, it's not good. Uh, but, yeah, I collect LEGO space shuttles. So this is yet another uh, space shuttle. Now the Bumblebee, this was probably the most frustrating part of the build. It is kind of hard to see the orientation of the legs of the Bumblebee. The head is kind of fragile. Uh, so I, it's, that was my least favorite part of the build. Uh, in the Bumblebee, I don't know where it fits in. With, I guess the uh, in, in the book it says each little thing. And it talked about how important the Bumblebee is to uh, the environment or whatever. This is uh, this next part here. This is uh, a Voyager spacecraft. You know, Voyager from Star Trek IV. <laughs> Actually, no. This is like Voyager one or two. Uh, then we never got up to six. And 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 speaking of Voyager, there there would not have been enough time elapse unless that thing all of a sudden figured out how to go to speed of light uh, for it to get as far away as it did and then come back. Uh, it's just there would have been no time. Uh, but anyway, that's the uh, Voyager. Uh, space, I mean Voyager spacecraft, which has this on it, which we'll talk more about. The uh, this is the 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 album uh, telling the aliens how to find us and kill us. Uh, yeah, uh, so all of these first three things I mentioned though are on the DNA strand. That's what the, the they made the smallest thing they're referencing the biggest on the set. 
it's like inverse square law or something. Yeah. But it, this thing is supposed to rotate. Oh, is there... I haven't actually done this. So the, uh, oh yeah, the carbon atom is bouncing up and down while this rotates. Did the carbon atom hit the car? Yeah, so our DNA strand spins and the carbon atom bounces up and down. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yes, yeah, so carbon, uh, essential uh, ingredient to life on Earth. Uh, everything that's living has carbon in it. And this is the um, carbon with six neutrons, six protons, six electrons. And it's got the little valent shells represented. The blue things, dark blue, regular blue. Those are the electrons. you got the two in the inner orbit and four on the outer valent shell. And then in, I don't know which one's the, <laughs> I don't know which one's the neutrons and which one's the protons because there's six orange six blue they're different hmm yeah I don't I don't I don't, I don't know all right then we got uh, Newton's tree over here this is a apple tree and we got Isaac Newton with his apple uh, known from uh, you know Isaac Newton from the REM song about uh, Andy Kaufman uh, that's what he's known for right I think you know he got being by the apple so that's Isaac Newton right there uh, with his apple. We also have some calculations. Uh, Newton did a lot of work with calculus, uh, being that he invented it. He's one of two people credited with inventing it separately at the same time, close roughly. But anyway, we got um, the golden ratio is in, in this um, area under the curve. I can't see there. F equals MA2 is in there, the uh, force. You know, Newton did the laws of motion, uh, whatever. I can't get them to go back on there. Um, so, and then there's a, is that a plant. Yeah, I've never seen plants and math on the same chalkboard like that. So, uh, the Fibonacci numbers are represented in life, like with trees. Flowers, which uh, we got George Washington Carver over there with some uh, uh, agricultural things, but uh, I don't know if Lego represented the Fibonacci sequence properly with their trees <laughs> and their sunflower. The, the one I was most curious is sunflower. I couldn't count the seeds and the petals. I, was, uh, I don't. Is it in the Fibonacci sequence? Somebody let me know. And I, I have a feeling it's not. Did, did I say Fibonacci or Fibonacci? It's Fibonacci. Fibonacci? I, it's one of those things I always say it wrong. <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, it's it's got sixteen uh, petals. Is that is that is that right? It is not. It should be either in that order of scale. It should be thirteen or twenty one. So yeah, they they broke it there. But uh, so this agriculture over here, we got George Washington Carver. Um, we later get a school named after him. I think. He's got some peanuts there. Uh, uh, he did so much work with peanuts in agriculture, an important historical figure there. Uh, the other mini figure we have is Madame Curie, uh, known for uh, discovering stuff that killed her later. And uh, another Kraftwerk song. All right, she has nothing to do with Apple II computers, which I think that's what that is. <laughs> it's a computer. We got the microscopes where they're looking at germs. Um, there we go. And then there's a, a robot arm of some sort. There is a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang car. Those are important to technology. We have uh, New York City, uh, which is a, a, they might be giant song. Uh, I, th I think that's the Flatiron Building. Is that um, Empire State Building? Times Square. We've got uh, Statue of Liberty. Is there Coney Island in here? I don't know. And there's an airplane there. That was important. I, when I first saw this set, I thought that was a London bus, but I'm thinking it's more of a New York, New York City tour bus. Uh, but if it is a London bus, I collect London buses, so this set is good for that. Uh, so did I cover everything? I think that's everything. Oh, sorry, Newton. Not you over there. So uh, I, I've mentioned it probably. I can't imagine I haven't mentioned Newton's my favorite scientist of all time um i like i i've done a lot i've done a lot of reading on newton i don't normally read a lot of books but i've read some biographies of him 
That's in the reasons that I like Newton goes beyond what he accomplished in the area of science. Uh, you know, he wrote the things about optics. He did the laws of motion, and he also did the um, calculus and all that kind of stuff. But he also wanted to. He reckoned he was, I would say, humble in in some regards. In that, uh, one of his quotes is about uh, being a boy on the seashore. He he just liked looking at a prettier, pretty shell or pebble, and uh, just in investigating all this stuff uh, while the great ocean of truth lay out there undiscovered by him. Uh, so what what man knows, what man has accomplished in science and technology is just a teeny tiny bit. Even in here in the 21st century, the, the man's knowledge, and the, the more they learn, the more they realize they don't know in, in a lot of regards. But man has accomplished a lot. Man was given this brain uh, to figure these things out, and they continue uh, to discover great things. Some things that destroy the world, <laughs> destroy the environment, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't want to get into all that. So, yeah, I've always been interested in science uh, and technology and engineering and math. I was a, uh, I actually went to, when I went to school, I was a triple major. I didn't finish with all three degrees, but it was in engineering, math, and science so that's what i i was into as a kid <laughs> i outgrew it though right so the the golden disc that we mentioned earlier that's on voyager uh, it's very interesting i actually bought this commemorative uh, album <laughs> it, and i am very disappointed i i just discovered or either i don't know if i noticed this when i got this originally uh, it's missing a disc <laughs> This is a three album set that has the record that's on Voyagers, the Voyagers. It's, um, it's got a, co a co collection of different music from uh, around the world, plus a message. It's, it, there's well songs on it. All right. And, and mind you, they sent this to space before uh, Star Trek IV, Voyage Home. But I wonder if Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, thought about the well songs, because the well songs are... Are on this, uh, but this is a little compilation. It's got uh, three albums that are, and the, these are the the covers of uh, the albums. And I got two of the same one. There's supposed to be three. I got I ended up getting two of the same in here. So I, I it's been so long ago. It's been like I don't know how long. When did this thing come out? It's been several years. I don't know. If there's a copyright there. So yeah, I am missing. I am missing the um, the third album, I think, the th uh, one of them. But yeah, I, I like LPs, and, and you know they were very forward thinking in putting LPs on Voyager, because who would have known? You know, we have vinyl disc back in the day, and I think this is metal or it's it's I don't think I don't know if it was vinyl. I, I haven't read the book yet, <laughs> but. Uh, this is the this actually is, in what's on the Lego piece is the instructions on how to play uh, the phonograph basically, <laughs> and yeah, it's showing them how 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 to play the album, <laughs> and, and I'm only and I'm missing one of my albums, yeah, and I don't know how to get it. To, I, the, I'm sorry, I'm I'm rambling on about that. It just was frustrating. This Voyager Golden Record collection, and, and I'm didn't notice that I was missing one of the records. Anyway, yeah, they, they sent that up there so the aliens would know how to find us and destroy us. And they also sent a, a picture of a naked man, which is represented on one of, where, where was the, uh, oh, now I gotta find it. Uh, did I, yeah, it's on the, I didn't show it. It's on, on, on the lower part there, there is a picture of, um, uh, a, a Lego figure. It's a Lego minifigure, original Lego minifigure, uh, uh, which I, I guess it was, should be all yellow, if you know what that means. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that's what we do as uh, scientists and engineers and mathematicians and technological people. We send pictures of naked men to space. So that's the uh, the STEM set. I I, I like it. I don't recommend buying it at full price. I did buy it when there was gift with purchase. It is extremely 
it's extremely overpriced set but it, it's one i wanted to get and I, uh, now to figure out how to get my missing golden record 